So now let's see how we can work around with video proxy inside of Filmora to our advantage. So in order to work around with video proxy, first of all, I need to import out a video. And if you haven't done any changes to settings, then you actually get this uh, option. So it says editing with smaller proxy clips will, will result in faster, smoother experience. So what happens is that let's say this is a 4K or an SD video and you don't have much of a powerful system, then what you can do is it helps in pressing yes. You can also press stop asking now, but what that will do is that whenever you actually import out footage later on, then it won't ask anymore. So I'm just going to click this and press yes. And what happens is that here you can see that there's a little icon that actually indicates that the proxy is being created. So temporarily what this does is it creates a lower quality of video that you can play and then edit without a problem which uses less resources. So later on when you export it uses the uh, full video right there to actually export a high quality video which comes in handy. So let's say uh, now you're importing out other videos over here as well but in this case it is not asking me whether I want to create a proxy. So in order to manually create it, I can simply right click and then I can create proxy right here, create proxy file. But in my case, I've already created it and you can see that this little icon shows that it is proxy. That's why uh, it is just showing that. So let's just get ahead and then bring out some other footages right here. And for this one, you can see that there's no proxy. So I can right click and click on create proxy file. So now what it will do is it'll start processing as you can see right there. I can go around, I can import out more videos right here as per my will. So I'm just going to go around and then bring in this one right here. And here you can see that there's proxy on this one. So if I were to click and drag it, what happens is that I'm just going to go around match this to media right here. What happens is that what you see being played right here is a lower quality of video, but it is much more smoother to edit it out. And whenever you uh, export out the edited footage, it'll use the original clip. So you're not exporting out the lower proxy, but you're exporting the proper high quality footage itself. And that is how you can utilize video proxy to make sure that your workflow is faster inside of Filmora. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.